What if I told you that the way you eat, move, and even sleep each day could be the reason your blood sugar is out of control and you don't even know it? You could be eating healthy, avoiding sugar, and still dealing with stubborn belly fat, fatigue, brain fog, cravings, mood swings, and inflammation. The truth is, there's one daily mistake that almost everyone makes and it silently wrecks your blood sugar and metabolism over time. Most people sit down to eat a meal and think that choosing healthy foods is enough. But if your body isn't ready to receive that food, especially carbs, your blood sugar can spike, your insulin pours out to bring it back down. But over time, that repeated pattern leads to insulin resistance, where your cells stop responding to insulin and your body stores more fat, particularly around the midsection, visceral fat. But here's the fix. Just one to two minutes of movement before or after eating, walking, marching in plays, body weight squats, calf pumps, gentle twisting, activate your muscles, which opens up glucose receptors and allows sugar to be pulled out of the bloodstream without even needing insulin. It's one of the most powerful underrating strategies to lower blood sugar naturally, and it costs nothing. And it gets better. If you eat your meals in the right sequence, you can reduce your blood sugar spikes by up to 40%. That means starting with fiber and protein like vegetables, legumes, or a few bites of meat before diving into your starches and sweets. You see, fiber slows down the breakdown of carbs into glucose, it blunts insulin spike, and it helps keep you fuller longer. And hydration plays a significant role than you may realize. When you're even mildly dehydrated, your blood becomes more concentrated, which amplifies your glucose readings. Drinking water, especially before meals, with even maybe a squeeze of lemon or lime if you like, or a splash of apple cider vinegar, can definitely enhance insulin sensitivity, improving your digestion, and even supporting your liver health, which plays a central role in glucose storage and release. Now let's talk about sleep, because one of the fastest ways to raise your blood sugar is to cut back on your quality sleep. Just one night of poor sleep can make you insulin resistant the next day. That means your body overreacts to even small amounts of carbs, and you're more likely to store fat, feel hungrier, and crash into that afternoon. And to that fact, that stress raises cortisol, and cortisol raises blood sugar. So even mental stress without even food can throw your numbers off. And that's why stress-reducing techniques like deep breathing exercises, grounding, sunlight in the morning, or simply just walking barefoot on the grass will help lower your cortisol levels. It will help stabilize your metabolism. And if you want to take this further, start your meals with bitter foods like arugula, lemon water, or dandelion tea, because bitter stimulate bile. It improves liver function and primes the digestive system the better handling glucose. And here's another overlook tip. Avoid naked carbs. You cannot eat naked carbs because eating carbs alone without protein or fat is a big problem. A piece of toast or a sugary drink on an empty stomach is a guaranteed blood sugar roller coaster. Pair your carbs with healthy fats or proteins to slow that absorption. Over time, these simple tweaks help heal the root of your problem, improving insulin sensitivity, reducing chronic inflammation, and even reversing early stage type two diabetes. So what are the signs that your blood sugar is out of balance? Constant cravings, especially for sugar or carbs, midday energy crashes, waking up tired, frequent urination, blurry vision, trouble concentrating, and difficulty losing weight especially around the waistline. So if you're experiencing any of these, don't wait. Start with the basics. Move your body before and after meals. Pump your calves. That will help get that glucose into the cells much quicker. Eat fiber and protein first. 
hydrate smart, improve your sleep hygiene, and support stress response. The key is consistency, not perfection. You don't need extreme diets or expensive supplements. Your metabolism is built to heal itself when you remove those daily roadblocks. So if this message resonates within you, please share it with someone else who's struggling with low energy, cravings, or unexplained weight gain. And remember one thing that you probably already know. Healing starts with knowledge, and just a few small shifts can completely transform the way your body handles food, energy, and life. Your blood sugar doesn't have to control you. Take back control one day at a time because you are the pilot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it again with your friends and family. Leave your comments below, and most important, Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.